Hi guys, it's Janelle from Parsons of Parsimony, and if you guys have been watching my vlogs lately, you have been seeing me cook all the time with this frying pan, and I want to tell you guys about it and whether I like it or not. So about a month ago, a company contacted me and asked me if I would like to review this product, and you guys know that I love to cook. I am cooking all the time for our large family, and a new pan is an awesome tool in the kitchen. Now, I have a love-hate relationship with te standard Teflon pans because, well, Teflon scratches, it chips, it peels up, and eventually it makes the pan no good. So I really do not use Teflon. I think I have one Teflon, Teflon pan left in my arsenal of pans, and that I use primarily for my poached egg in the morning because it does it does make not nearly as much of a mess than a cast iron or a stainless steel where you could never get the egg to release like it's supposed to. So this pan here has a newer type of technology, so it's not Teflon per se. It's, um, they call it the rock, but it's not Teflon. It's a whole different type of surface. I'll let you guys get up close and you can see how it looks there. This pan seems to be far more durable than Teflon has ever been for me. Now, you know, with any non-stick type of pan, you need to make sure that you're not using, using knives in the pan or anything that could be sharp or scratch the surface. But that being said, this feels like, even if there was a oops with my kids cooking, it's not gonna really affect it all that much. It seems like it's held up very, very well. Now, when I first got the pan, one of the first things I did was read the inside. This is the insert that was on top of the pan. And on the inside, there are instructions in both, I think it's Spanish, but I don't know. It's Spanish and in English. And I went ahead and read these before I started using the pan. And some of the highlights where you don't want to use this pan on high heat, it really needs to stay medium to low so that the surface doesn't get loosened by, you know, um, the high heat and the temperature and the warping and all that. Because of this surface, um, even if there was an oops and you did put it on high heat for a minute or two, this will not warp like other pans. And I have to say, this pan has some oomph to it. It's not too heavy, but it's got some nice oomph to it. And it's, I like the handle, how well balanced it is. I've had some of these pans before with a long handle like this, and it always feels like it's going to do one of these things off my gas burner grates. And that I don't want with kids around. You know, the kids are always in the kitchen when I'm cooking, and what happens if they just accidentally bump this? And if this is unsteady like this, it's going to toss the contents. So I, one of the pans I actually had, I passed along to another family because... It just wasn't going to work with my family. But I did not have that problem with this pan. This stays very nicely on the surface of the burner. And I have used this for almost a month straight. Now, I would say anywhere from six, six to ten times a week, maybe even more. And one of the things it says on the instructions is to make sure you never heat this pan with nothing in it. Always put a little bit of grease or butter whatever you're going to use and that helps the non-stick properties and that's what I've been doing for the entire month it has worked like a charm I haven't noticed any difference in the non-stick properties after using it so much and I kid you not this is my go-to pan now this is an 11 inch skillet which seems to work pretty well for our family size and we have a family size of eight you know I'm using this all the time this is the pan I use for my eggs for all of us and I just, I love this pan. I use it all the time. And for being a non-stick pan, I think this is going to hold up a lot longer than my Teflon pans. But I do think a lot of the reasons why it's holding up so well is because I followed their instructions and, you know, making sure I'm not using too high of temperatures. I'm always using a little bit of grease in the bottom. And it seems to be holding up beautifully. And if you guys want to check out this pan for yourself, I will put the link in the description below. And again, this the company had sent this to me, but I am so ecstatic with this. They did not pay me for this review. This was um, just given to me in exchange for my honest thoughts. And I, 
I really have loved this pan. I am not passing this pan on to anyone because it has worked so well. So thanks so much for watching. If you guys have any questions, please be sure to leave them in the comments below. And if you're new to our channel, please be sure to subscribe where I do some product reviews, but mostly it's all cooking videos and our daily vlog of our large family. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you for our next video. Bye.